Describe this jet loss to the Bills tonight. I, I don't even know where to begin. First of all, when you when you turn the ball over three, four times, when you drop wide open passes, you aren't beating anyone. You're not beating a Pee Wee League team. You drop wide open passes. You turn the ball over four times. The Jets can't beat a Pee Wee team playing like that. Nobody can. Very rarely can anyone win a game doing that. They fell behind early. And their offense, again, when they can't run it, they're behind multiple scores. Their offense, the, the smoke is coming out of their heads because they have no clue what the fuck to do. None. None. And you look at it. Yeah. The offense had a bad game. Yeah. Defense played good couple of big spots that you want them to stop. Maybe stop McCoy early, uh, late in the fourth after they had given up on downs. You can't expect the defense to do everything. But this Jet loss tonight is on the coaching staff. Todd Bowles and Chan Gailey. What are the play calls that you are calling And folks, first of all, if I can just talk about this for a minute. Bowles left six points up on the board. Six. Jets lost by five. The first time that they had the opportunity to kick the field goal, you kick the field goal. He doesn't. I'm thinking, all right. A lot of people were saying, oh, this is four down territory. Down five, they have to go for it. No, you don't. The way the Bills' offense was, the Jets' defense was stuffing them. The momentum was on their side. Third and one, you had stuffed them. A bad snap punt. You take over. First and 10 of the 13, you got to come away with something. You get the three points, you pull within two, 22-20, you force another three and out because the Bills offense, the last couple of offensive possessions, did nothing. You get the field goal. You take the three points. You get Buffalo out of there in a hurry. Your defense was doing the job. They had woken up. The Bills offense was getting stymied. And away you go. Bowles left six points up there. This has got to stop. I know he's a rookie head coach, but this is game number nine. Todd, wake up for me, baby. And Chan Gailey, we're going to... You're not going to go for the field goal. And you're going to throw a fade pass on fourth and two to Kellen Davis? That's the best option you can come up with? Who's Kellen Davis? That's your guy that you're going to on a fade route? Down five in the fourth quarter? It doesn't, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, folks. To call plays. Yeah. There's some genius into it. But it is very simple. Take the points. Trust your defense. Take the points. 
chip away. But no! Let's leave points up there on the board. And I'm just going to try and reenact something here. Now, I don't have a football with me, folks. But let's see what I can have here in the studio. Let's see what will work here. Okay. Uh, all right. So... Pretend this is a football, folks. All right? Just pretend this is a football. What we want the Jet receivers to do when the quarterback throws the football is for the Jet receivers to catch the football, not drop the football, not have it go through their arms or through their hands. We want the Jet receivers to catch the football for first downs. And we move the chains. That's what we want to do. This is your football. This is the jet receiver's hand. We want the ball to go in hand. Can anyone catch a football on this team? Holy smokes! Smith drops. Marshall drops. Decker drops. Davis doesn't even turn around for the ball. I don't know what he's doing. The ball's being thrown in the air and Kellen Davis is like, let's see. Oh, I have to turn around. What are you doing? Are you crazy? And folks, let me be honest with you right now. I'm a Jeff fan through and through. This is a bad football team. This is a bad football team. Because you have coaching that is horrendous. Okay. Bowles, Bowles does some good things. But one key thing that Todd Bowles is not doing right this year, and it's killing the team. Clock management and leaving points on the board. Clock management and leaving points on the board. If you're doing those things wrong as a head coach, your team is fucked. Your team is F-U-C-K-E-D fucked. And if you don't have a quarterback, your team is F-U-C-K-E-D fucked. And let's be honest with you. The Jets don't have a quarterback. The Jets have no quarterback. People are rolling to town scared of Ryan Fitzpatrick. A formidable quarterback does a lot of good things also does a lot of bad things a lot of bad decisions, a lot of bad throws some good some bad you want where the good is really outweighing the bad you don't get that with Fitzpatrick and Gino, God knows God knows at this point, just put Gino in there What do you got to lose? I mean, you could put Brett Favre out there. If the play calling is going to be like this from Chan Gailey, forget about it. You could have Johnny freaking Unitas out there. It's not going to matter. And to see Rex Ryan jump up and down, Rex, I know you, you think that 